All right, welcome back to the tiny town of Sycamore. When we last left off, uh, I'm building a rustic church, and it is getting built piece by piece there. We're planting some trees over here, and it's about time to unlock the wooden keep and get some of the keep quests going. I've got to decide where to put the wooden keep, though. Uh, I think I'm going to put it up here on this hill. And you know, uh, I'm going to want to cut down a lot of these trees, too, so maybe what I should do is I should put in a lumber camp and have them concentrate solely on just getting rid of the trees on here. And while they're at it, maybe they can get rid of the trees that are planted on the rocks here, which uh, probably shouldn't be there, but uh, when I made this map, I didn't have time to get really particular about exact tree placement because there's just too much, too much to do when creating a map. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Let's turn on the user interface, which is control U, by the way. Somebody asked me in the comments. This seems to be something that's uh, not well documented. So hold down the control key and tap U to turn the user interface on and off. And let's do this. Let's paint an extraction zone. And I've got to buy the land first. What am I talking about? So this land will cost me 500 gold, which I don't have. So there's... A showstopper. I'm making money though. 14 gold a whatever unit this is a week. So probably then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wait until the rustic church gets finished and then the month end so I can promote some villagers to commoner. Right now we have seven newcomers and 13 serfs. So the next round of upgrades I'm going to be upgrading all those newcomers into serfs. And uh, so let's put it on ridiculous speed here. That's speed three. And get that rustic church finished to make the people happy. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up some of the windows, which I always forget to bring up. Always forget. I think I've remembered three times total. Uh, and there we are. And hey, we're, we've got 15 polished stones, 16 polished stones. So we should be making really good money with that. Here comes the trader guy. Let's pause it real quick and see what he wants. He wants to buy 30 berries, 20 polished stone. We only have 16, and I think we're going to only sell, uh, what, six of those? Maybe? 20 planks and 10 wine. So possibly, possibly to make even more money, we could make sure we have more stuff. The berries are a little low. The uh, tools are stuck at 25, so we don't need to buy any in the plank. So let's review trading, because I want to make the money. Uh, we're going to sell all planks above 80, so hardly any. Hey, a Splendor unlocked something. I wonder what it was. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're going to sell all planks above 80, and that's no good. And we're going to sell all berries about, above 100, and that's no good. And we're going to sell all polished stone above 10. All right, and he bought all of them. All right, I'm going to lower that down to 5. All right, five, and we'll see. I think I just need to make more. I think that's the thing. So what did you unlock? Mm, I'm not seeing anything, Mr. Game. Not seeing anything at all. Uh, we do have four Kingdom Influence, and I need 369 to unlock everything that I want to unlock. I can go ahead and unlock the Wooden Keep. I'm going to hold off on that. But I need some more Kingdom Influence. So there you go. When the quest guy comes in... I could build this and that gives me some more influence and I could wait on, I could wait on the walls then. All right, fine, let's do that. Wooden keep is now available. Now I can't unlock anything else. We shall allow you to establish an outpost on your territory so that you'll be given to be, be able to participate in military campaigns. Almost got that right. Almost for your liege. Do not forget that this is a privilege. Yeah, it's a privilege to send my people away and get them killed. Uh, we'll comply. And when we do that, we'll get the plus 10 Kingdom Influence, which will allow me to unlock that other stuff. And we'll get five of the swords, which we'll need to remember to equip the soldiers with. That's important. Um, and yeah, I want to buy this. Luckily, this property here... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Slow it down. Just pause it then. Let's talk to this guy. What you got going on? Uh, you want fish? No, but soon. Soon we'll have fish. I can't unlock fish yet because, like I, like I was saying, fish at the very beginning of the game, the Fisher's Hut requires six Splendor, and I have six Splendor, 
and 20 surfs. Mm, we're close to that, actually. We're close to 20. We one, one, We have 21. Uh, I just need to promote them at the end of the month, and we're on week three. Yeah, so the waiting continues. Uh, at speed three, not too bad. Uh, everybody, um, until the end of the month. We'll continue to wait until the end of the month. Abdomen, really? There was somebody was called abdomen in Angevin names. Wow. Okay, uh, no comment, really. But uh, how about we do more berries? So why don't we build another uh, gathering hut? How about another gathering hut? I don't know what happened with the first click there, but it's gone. And I am... Oh, I'm right off the property. I see how it is. I can't see the property. I'm right off the... You're right there. I'm gonna build it right there. And uh, we've got a little uh, low fog and some drizzle today. And what else as far as jobs? How about... How much stone do we have? We don't have very much stone, so I tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and assign two villagers, including abdomen... Anyway, give us some more stone, because we can turn more stone into more polished stone. And I wonder if Kat, Caitlin, or Caitlin, is actually waiting for stone, and that's why our polished stone production is a little slow. That could be. That could be. And by the way, any builder? Cecil is assigned? You, so you took out the tree, right? That's the problem with taking out trees with construction. The first worker comes over and takes out the tree. And, oh no, and now you're bringing tin wood. Because what is Cecil? Uh, you are actually a surf. Okay. Super efficient surfs. I, I, I'm, I was planning to promote villagers, though, so that's a question. Who do I promote? Builders I usually promote. Because once one builder is done, another builder is signed almost immediately. So even though a single builder is less efficient, I think that's okay. There is travel time, though, with the builders which kind of slows things down, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. And is this church done yet? This church is not quite done, but here's our promotions. Uh, I got 158. How about I promote all? Can I do that? No, Alaric cannot be promoted because we ran out of cash. Okay, but we unlocked more stuff. We unlock more stuff. We've, we've unlocked the Sheep Farm, Weaver Hut, and Tailor's Workshop, which is good. I can't sell any clothing until I upgrade the villagers to commoners, so that's a thing. But, um, this just got finished. How many unemployed do we have? Emma, Wolviv, Alaric, and Marjorie. One, two, three, there you go. Emma, Wolviv, and Alaric. And five villagers lack space for housing. I see, I see. Let's take care of that. Residential. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and move residential uh, over here, and we'll keep them away from the berries a little bit so I can build, and we'll kind of expand over in the red, but you know what, if you really need a house, that's where you're going to build. I didn't want to build it all in here, you know, because uh, this is where I'm planting the trees, and boy, did we plant some trees. I mean, that's a lot of trees. We're not going to have a problem with wood. I should put in another woodworker. Houses are now being built and everybody's happy. That's good. Okay. I might need to expand this a little bit more. Just to catch a few more people. They just may, might need just a little more sp There. Got another house. Okay. Alright. And the rustic church is not quite finished. Uh, now we only need five tools and we have plenty. And one more person is joining. So, good for them. Uh, let's get the rest of the church finished, please. So now, why don't we go ahead and start. We have 22 stone now, so we have a positive number of stone. I'm looking to make money. Yeah, we can only buy 20 of these at a time. We have 8. I'm going to build another one of these. The church has noticed... Hey, it's finished. The church has noticed your dedication to God and thus holds you in higher regard. Thank you very much. Plus 10 churchy influence okay so now they're going to be going everybody's going to be walking up there going to church and i do want to build some more another stonemason hut and let's put it right next to the first stonemason hut why not just give it enough space to walk there and like so 
And do we have a builder right away? We don't. Uh, let's go ahead and high prioritize that. Give me a builder. Come on now. A lot of houses being built, so that's why I have to rush this. Uh, we could definitely use more builders. How about Lox Lasky? Yo, Lasky. You're going to become a, an extra builder because we, we could use some. And Marjorie, haven't decided yet. Haven't decided yet. What should Marjorie be? Mm, let's open the job list and see. We only have one of four transporters in the granary. Zero of three. Oh, where's this lumber camp? That's right. I was going to take out this lumber camp. Why? Because you have to walk all the way over there. I was going to take it out, so I'm going to... I'll just take it out like I was going to. We'll, we'll get ten gold returned and two tools. Can't argue with that. And then really, the sawmill should be over here. Where, where did I hide the lumber camp? In here? Yeah, I like this idea. I like the idea of moving the sawmill over here, except I need a hundred gold. When I have money, I like the idea of moving the sawmill over there. But then my warehouse is sticking out over here. But when I get rid of more negatives, I can potentially put some more housing zone in there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, and now I'm running a negative. Don't worry, trade trade will fix that. Trade will fix that right up. I could probably sell more berries too. Uh, you would think that they'd be buying more as it is. 47 berries. 26 berries sold for 234. Might be time for fish. Did I unlock the fish? I sure did. The fisher's hut and the hedge. Let's get some fish in here. And uh, that will improve things. I think I have to look at this because I don't... Right. So this is where we own off the edge of the map here. Which means, really... Should I put residential out to there? No, let's put the fishing huts. Fisher's hut. Let's... Two of them. I have zero gold. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, I don't need much. I just need 20 gold. 20 gold, but I'm losing gold like crazy. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait for the trader to come in. Why am I losing gold, even though I let more people in? Not exactly sure. We should be selling more of everything. And there we go, this is done. There's Laggett. Laggett's gonna come in and make us some more polished stone. And that should greatly increase the trading. And then... Do we have anybody... Why didn't I close this? Don't close that. Marjorie, I'm afraid you're going to work at the sawmill. Because we need more planks. Because that's going to greatly raise our trade income as well. And so we get the... We get the berries up. And you can see we have 142. That's almost all trading, isn't it? Let's take a look at that. Plus 29 in trading. 132. Alright, but we're... We're positive now all of a sudden. So let me get my, let me get my Fisher Huts built. Totally pausing the game so I can do this. Uh, and this is the side. And let's move you as far off as we can. Let's put in one. And I'm going to say, I'm going to leave enough space for a path just because I think that it's a little safer. Two. I'm going to put in three. And hopefully that's not overkill. But... There's the three. Let's get those built. I'm not going to prioritize them as far as building goes. And then I'm going to go ahead and extend this residential area now that I can see where the land is. Let's extend this out. We'll, we'll extend it out to the green. I don't think I'm going to use that stonecutter's camp at all. And let's, let's not let it go too low. But I am going to use these berries. But... I've got two groups of berries here, and I've only got two huts. I could really put another another uh, gathering hut in. And as a matter of fact, why don't I go ahead and do that? Let's take care of some business. Because we don't have 20 gold. We don't even have 20 gold. So they've changed this. You can't go below zero now. That's sort of what it was like before. You can't go below zero, uh, which is better. And you can see that I am making a what I assume is a weekly profit. But, there we go. I just got 13. I don't know how. Envoy is requesting something. That'll give me some cash. If he wants... No, I don't have fish yet. Why you gotta be so cruel? Right? So, uh, yeah. 
So we're in a, a short pause here while I wait to make more money. Plus 13 now. Okay, that's enough to put down another gathering hut. You can see with 100, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's do the math. And by do the math, I mean let's actually look what the trade income was. Last week, the trade income was 14 berries where a max is 20. 8 polished stone where the max is 20. Is it... There was more than 20? And only 9 planks where, again, I think the max is 20. The, the max berries might be more. I'm having trouble remembering what I just looked at. But uh, we lost 50. And so far, the trade income 16 for 64. So I think another gathering hut will help us. And, of course, the more food, the better. So we'll put another gathering hut in right here. You should have enough room to get around there. And we wait. We are making more planks now. And I haven't seen us making more polished stone yet. The stone numbers are positive still. And you should be working to make some polished stone. And we are storing polished stone in here. We have six of them stored. So, and the fisher huts are now finished. And I have one new villager. So, there you go. And so let's immediately update the granary to hold fish. And the bottom two slots will hold fish. And I probably should have a second transporter in here as soon as I start getting fish in. And then we'll have a new market because this will make us some more money. A new food stall we will put you right here just because there's space. Let's go ahead and start construction. So how is this church doing? 12 of 40. Good. Okay. We're not, we're not overloaded yet. I'm going to turn off this again. I can't stand the yellow lines. Okay, the gathering hut's complete. Now we're waiting for people to immigrate. And uh, we shouldn't have a problem. The next wave should be pretty good. Unless I missed one because we do have enough space for housing now. All they have to do is build. And I let you go down in here. Yeah, I just need to move this. One and one. Well, you can't get more than one when you only have one pass by. This is the new balancing, though, where early in the game, you usually only have one or two people walking by. I guess as we get more popular, we'll have more people walk by. Another Fisher Hut's complete. And we have 290 bucks. Aha! It's promotion time. I'm about ready to lose all that. I can promote to commoner now. But I don't have the clothing ready. Two, four, six, eight, ten. A hundred bucks. Let's promote all. And then, do I want any commoners? I think I do, because I'm going to want to build the clothing line. So let's see. Who do I want to make commoners? I was thinking the builders, as I was saying before, we only have two here, because I just promoted the other builders. So let's pay a hundred to update you two, the builders, so you can buy clothing. Transporters, I don't know, market tenders, stone cutters, maybe, wood cutters, carpenters, foragers, transporters. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do transporters as well. And we only have 91. We'll do one transporter. And then enough. Okay, so now we can actually start working on the clothing line. And by the way, that's are you the trader? You are. How come I can't click on you? Shoot, I can't click on them when they leave. That's Oh no, cuz I have this menu open. I can. I can see what you bought. Okay. Uh you wanted to buy uh I think it was 30 and you only bought 16. You wanted to buy 20, you only bought 8. This is where we're yeah, we we need to make more to make the money. I'm I've said that 20 times now. But it's true. I said it because it's true. I'm not making enough. The pile of stone production is too slow. And what did I do with the residential zone here? We can go up the hill a little bit. I'm just... This is almost like min-maxing where you want houses to be built. But we, we don't... We might go right in front of the Lord's Manor. That's what I was worried about. So I'll take a bite out of this. But we can go a little closer to the church there and then down here I don't think that's gonna work 
but I did it, so there it is. And right, we took all the trees out here, so let me just clean up these this bogus extraction zone. Don't touch the berries. And let me clear up this bogus extraction zone. The berries stay in, but we're not extracting any more wood. Okie doke. And I still want to buy more land, but that's not going to happen for a while. Uh, how's the fish doing? We now have 20 fish. And we have Hildeth one more. And this market is done, so Hildeth, you're going to sell fish. There you go. So we, we are starting our fish sales for the first time. And we're still... We're still slowly moving along as uh, immigration has been significantly slowed down. All right, there's the trader guy. You want to buy 30 berries, 30. We're only going to be able to sell you nine. 20 polished stone, 20 planks, 10 wine. Okay, you, but you want to buy 30 berries. Hmm. So why is our berry production? Well, I built this and didn't assign anybody, right? So yeah, we're waiting. We're waiting for more people to come on into the village. All right, one other thing I didn't do. I want to turn off uh, density upgrades on some of the original homes or the ones closest to the Lord Manor. Just because I want that. I really like the other model. So there, density upgrades are off for all these. Keep them on for everybody else. This one already upgraded, which is fine. And these two are the same house. This one hasn't upgraded yet. So, uh, you're awful close there, so why don't I just say, you know what, you're not going to upgrade either. And you're not allowed, and you're not allowed. Yeah, so we have a little group of, if, if I plant, if I do something crazy like plant bushes. Now look at that, we got, we've got, while I've been waiting here, we've been gaining money pretty, pretty well. We're at 415. So, let me start building the clothing line, but where? Where am I going to put this grand clothing line? I, I have made these woods way too big. Our woodcutters cannot keep up with the amount of trees. And hey, two and two. All right, now we're moving. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to take out... I'm gonna. It's, it's going to include taking out the barriers. I'm going to take out this side of this extraction zone. And I'm going to take out this side of this reforestation zone. Okay? And uh, we'll make it a little bit bigger. There, whoops, wrong button, sorry. And we are, we did plant down on the, on the beach, how about that? But, right, and then we're going to build over in here. And I want to build a, some sheep farms, which are a big negative. Yeah, alright, 350 now. Can I fit sheep farms on here? Sheep farms on the beach? Doesn't seem quite right. This is already negative here where you all are. It's We're not going to need a lot of clothes at first. So why don't we stick a sheep farm over in here? And the sheep will get lost in the trees. We'll put it right over here. There we go. You can build that. And then maybe I'll rethink what I'm doing here. Let's, let's, let me rethink this. Reforestation. I'm going to cut out reforestation along this edge instead. And I'll let it come out a little bit more into here. There. Same with the extraction zone. A little bit more into here. And I'll stop, I'll stop the extraction here and we'll just remove trees as needed. Gives the sheep some roaming room. And then while I'm at it, so we have that, and let's put in a weaver hut. How much cash do I need for that? Oh, I'm above 500 now. All right, wait. I also wanted to buy this piece of land. Where was it? It was this piece. Correct, yes, which happens to cover all the way up to the top of the hill. Not too shabby. Okay, so I've bought that piece of land. That raises our taxes, which kind of stinks. But it gives us some room to grow. So now let me go back and, and uh, put down that weaver hut. And we have kind of an odd road here, right? 
So we might as well take advantage of that and say, all right. Oh, I don't have any gold. Well, we'll, we'll bring our gold back to 100, please. Then I'll put down the weaver hut. And I'm going to need a warehouse to hold all of this as well. Well, two and two. I only really need a warehouse for the clothing, to sell the clothing. I don't need a warehouse for the other goods. But if it's not well balanced, you're easily going to overflow that uh, the 50 units of whatever that each workplace can hold. All right, we have three unemployed. And this is the second time we've got two to come in. Uh, the fish is at 10. The berries... Is at 133. Let's go ahead and really get the berry numbers up there by putting three in this extra gathering hut. And three of these, we ought to have be able to have four of these work two berry bushes early in the game. And as a matter of fact, that rule kind of changes because when they say early in the game, they assume that the villagers are going to upgrade their status. But at a surf status, probably you're limited to about two of these per single bush group because of their efficiency. All right, what do you want now? What do you want? Let me guess, fish again, and I still don't have enough. 20 fish. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I think I can get... Oh, it's it's uh, Volframnus and Sybil. Man, that sounds like uh, two horror movies right there. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Where do, we, where do we need this? Where do we need this? We have uh, only one influence in labor... And we only have one influence in Kingdom, but when we build the keep, we'll unlock more influence. We have 10 in Clergy, and we can go ahead and unlock some of the additional parts right now. And then we're going to need the 20 Splendor and 20 Commoners to unlock this, and then 3 to unlock the Church, and we already have 3. So really, I'm thinking we need Labor. So I'm going to answer this question. I'll do it for the people. And then we'll go ahead and stockpile the fish. And we'll assign two more fishermen. Volframus and Sybil go out there and scare the heck out of the fish. It's an easy way to fish. And uh, that'll turn green shortly, I hope. And now we have 200 to cash. So... Instead of pausing, I think I'll just slow it down. And let's put in that weaver hut, and I'm going to put it right up the road here, since this road already was created. Uh, we'll put it... Uh, there's the berries there. We'll put it right about here. And then we're going to need more cash. The tailor's workshop only costs 50 gold. Wow, this used to be expensive. And I'm going to put it uh, a little further up the road right here. Right on that, right on the turn. There we go. Okay. Now we can speed it up. And then I'm going to need a warehouse. So, uh, you know, the warehouse. Now how much does the warehouse cost me now? It, 50 gold. We're at plus 28, but we're locked on to zero at the moment. So we'll have to wait. If only I had enough fish. 35 fish now. That shouldn't... Take too long, I don't think. And one of the things about this, so you saw it was 35. The reason it's 30 now is because the transporter took five fish out of here, so it's actually not in stock until they get over to the granary, and then it goes back up to 35. All right, two and two again. Good. I need more workers. And we're at 17 polished stone. Man, that's slow. That is slow. And for the planks... I need to move the sawmill over as well, which means I need cash. Hey, we've got the fish. Ta-da! So that gives us 200. So let me pause. And I want to promote all to serfs. So that solves that problem. But then with 88 left, let's see here. We've got 97 stone. Stone has never been a problem. So I'm only going to uh, upgrade one of the stone cutters to commoner, and that's enough, aka that's all I can afford. And I need 50 to put a warehouse down, there's 140, so let's put that warehouse in before I run out of cash. And uh, I like to put it in like this, we'll put it right on the corner here, 
since conveniently enough the road seems made for it. All right. One villager lacks space for housing. Is that a true story or are you lying to me? Because I really don't think so. Taylor's workshop's complete. Where can I expand residential? I'm not gonna expand it up there. I can though, really, I can. We can expand it up here. We can expand it all the way to here. I'm fine with all the way to here. All right, and there. That's the warehouse. You're not really going to like to live near the warehouse. I don't want to get you that close, but... But yeah. And then as far as this extraction zone, this can be expanded a bit. Do I want to? I don't know if I want to. I'm going to leave that there. And you're three and three. Yeah, you're all, all three. Okay, I need to move that. Uh... Three villagers still lack space for housing. Uh, I gotta tell you. Oh, there it goes. Somebody built. Somebody expanded. Now just one lack space for housing. I don't know. I, you maybe don't want to build over the rocks now. Either that or you're just holding out for a better piece of land. So we'll see. Uh, I want to move this. I want to move this. This is done. This is finishing. This is done. The warehouse isn't quite done yet. We have two new unemployed, so how about we assign Jimmy? Four people. Ooh, now four people are passing by. Three decided to join. Now we're speeding up. Spawn sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Baby sheep. And then this finished, so let's assign Wick to Wick 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 Twee Wick Twee Wick Twee. Your guess is as good as mine. Make the wool, and that'll give us a slight head start. We need this to get done. I'm gonna go ahead and high prioritize that to make sure the warehouse gets done because the tailor's workshop's already done. Uh, and we do have a new house up here. We still it's still complaining about two villagers. Yeah, you need you need you need somebody with the sympathetic ear. I don't think we need all these trees. As a matter of fact, you're probably complaining that you don't have enough space to grow well I'm gonna even give you less space right mmm why didn't I move okay I think this was a mistake let me move this out here I don't want you I don't want you out in here all right but see if we can get a bite out in here I don't think we can, but we'll give it a try. We need some homes. Okay, the warehouse is complete. We have three villagers. Adam, Adam A, Adam Ant, Dunkad, and Emily. Na, 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 na. Uh, here we're going to hold the wool and the textiles and one clothing to start off with and we'll assign Dunchad or Dunkad Dunchad probably and then we need a tailor and there's Emilini na, 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 na. and we should start making those so let's put our first market in and we can put that market I always like to put the clothing market next to the church not that everybody now that goes to church is gonna buy clothes but those, those that are upgraded to commoners that go to church will buy clothes. So let's go ahead and stick to the old plan of putting the goods market near the church. And how about we put it down in the center section here instead. We'll put it right here. This is a big plus, a positive anyway, which is good. And let's go ahead and put a blue tent. No, green tent. Almost broke my scheme. Let's put a green tent over it and get that started. And the resource list has expanded running off the bottom. There's our first four clothing. We now have, oops, 140 fish. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, we have 16 polished stone. I feel like we could still make more polished stone and 108 regular stone. Okay. Okay. We need a whole army of stone cutters or stone masons, I should say. So let's put in another one. 
Uh, can I squeeze one in down here? Not quite. So let's put another one in behind the warehouse. Right here. That should be good. Just leave enough space. There. Yeah, it's going to be a little noisy for these guys. Eh. What are you going to do? Two villagers still lacking space for housing. Alright. I guess I got to get serious about this. Let's go ahead and cut out the... Let's just cut out the reforestation. Should we though? Why? Let's just let's just pop the residential area over in here and see what happens. There we go, there's our house. You had to build way over there, didn't you? Really just right up next to this. Okay. We'll push it over like this. There. And then uh, since this is red anyway, why don't we go ahead and say reforestation can come out into here where it used to be until I moved it. There. Because the sheep can wander up on the other side now. They could have wandered up there before. I don't know what I was thinking. But we'll go ahead and expand this back up here. And we'll expand the extraction zone up in here as well. Right. And we'll cut it out here because that's just kind of goofy. And we'll cut this out here because that's just kind of goofy. It's all about the smooth zone lines for some unexplained reason. Okay. All right. Man, these guys are planting trees like crazy. Look at those. I guess they're, they're so much bigger than the pines were. Yeah, you're living in the woods. There you go. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep you from upgrading too because I, I think I'm going to like the look of a wood house in the woods. And uh, maybe to coax an upgrade, I'll even let you, and by let you, I mean I'll plant for you some decorative bushes in here. And uh, we'll just put, we'll just hide them in the trees here. Just decorative bushes in the understory, right? Kind of surround you with them. There you go. And now it's average. Yeah, I might plant some more. Uh, and I haven't, uh, I've, I've noticed that I still haven't gotten to the keep. So, let's, we, we have a number of unemployed now, and I'm moving right along. And 310 cash, so let's go ahead and rebuild that sawmill. Whoops, oops, 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 oops. The, um, sawmill over closer to where we're taking the wood out. Probably closer to this, too, since that's a negative... Uh, we'll put it... I'm, I think I'm going to squeeze it right in here. I think that gives us enough room. The warehouse is a big negative. The sheep farm's a big negative. We'll put this right in here because it seems to fit. There. Hopefully you don't have to walk all the way around the world just to get the wood. That's the transporter's job. Mm, and I'm not storing wood over here at all, am I? Well, you guys are taking out the trees. We'll have to check that out. It would be nice if you could just come right over here and get the wood. And actually, it looks like a path just got created, so I think that's going to be okay. All right. And we now have 58 clothing. The market should have finished, and I just didn't notice it. It sure did. So, clothing goes in. And we assign Adjeric to sell clothes. And uh, I don't know where a jerk was, but we have Adam, Blissett, and Leon. Aha, here we go. 500, over 500 cash. I'm going to pause it. Over 500 cash. Promote everybody to surf. And then as far as commoners go, uh, I should have a couple builders in here. Let's get you upgraded. Hey, we unlock more stuff because we have enough commoners. And didn't I assign one more builder? Probably not, but I could, but it's too late. You're not going to recognize it. Well, yeah, you can't promote unemployed, can you? No, I just upgraded you all. That's why you're not in the list. Carpenters, planks, is planks ever a problem? We'll let the carpenters upgrade too. And how many carpenters do we have? We should have two of them, but I think I just upgraded the second one. And a stonemason... We're having trouble with these, so I'm not going to upgrade you. And the stone cutters, I think I'm going to upgrade all three of you. 
two, three. This should make us some really good cash. There's abdomen too. You get your commoner upgrade. It's a common abdomen. All right, that's enough for now. And now more people are gonna wanna buy clothing. There you go, you've got uh, 50 common clothes. And I think our income is going to skyrocket shortly. Just as soon as somebody buys clothes. There we go. Okay. And we still we have villagers now lacking more space for housing. Come on. I gave you plenty of room. I don't want to hear about it. You got plenty of room. Should I just... I, I don't want you building near the berries. That's the thing. I could put it closer on the beach. We could have our first beach homes. There we go. Just need to be a little bit wider. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Then once the sawmill's done, I'll get rid of this sawmill and make sure to expand the residential area over into here. And that should give me a few more houses. And have I built the keep yet? I have not. Let's get the keep at least started. Keep, 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 keep. But you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this two episodes instead of one because there's an awful lot to do. We've got the clothing in. I want to get the keep started, but we haven't started building it yet. We'll get the sawmill moved. Maybe put another lumber camp in. There's the sawmill right there. Let's slow it down. Maybe get another lumber camp in, and then I'll build the keep. And we'll need to hire and train some soldiers. So we've got we've got our little. Uh, we, we can we can put up with the noisy sheep and check out our little uh, textile row row here Yes, we'll stand here next to uh, let's call it textile row and uh, Look at our wild-eyed sheep. It's a special variety of sheep that uh, puts out extra wool But uh, one of the uh, drawbacks is they have those wild staring eyes. That's my story anyway All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later